Well guys, look who's coming back. We are finally going to get another video done. A proper official video of the brand new to the collection LG Direct Drive 6 Motion Washer Dryer Model F1496 AD. We're going to be doing the Baby Care 60 cycle with some bedding and some red towels that I don't wash with the normal load. Without further ado, oh, I'm going to throw in my new, actually I won't throw in my mask because that will dye that red. And uh, see how that goes. Let's go. And you're watching Florence Ballet 3060 on film. Loading her up. Throw some of the towels in first. <coughs> so it'll be, a, it'll be an auto wash and dry. Pillow cases. A little cover you get with it. And the actual duvet itself. Um, I think I've popped it all back together. Yep, so we're all good to load up. So, I'm going to do um, exactly 80 mils per litres of Asda non biosensitive powder, uh, which is up for bedding. And I'm going to use the Asda Marine Mist conditioner. Combined with a capful of Dettol laundry cleanser. It's been interesting, a baby care cycle is a cycle I've never had on any machine. So that'd be good. Oh, it's like cotton 60 or something I have. Let's flick her on. So I'm going to turn the dial round. Baby care. We can select up to 800 RPM, <clears throat> but we will respin that to 1400 for the dry. Auto dry, you get a pre-wash, but we're going to take that away. Medic rinse we want, and it goes up to 60. It does go up to 95, but obviously for this one, it's 95 and 60 is all you can do. Okay, so we'll do a 95 at some point. No other options. Without further ado, let's go. So now we're doing the, the load sensing. <coughs> The reason, guys, I've not been able to film this machine is because um, one, I have a very busy schedule at work. I'm doing a lot of late shifts, so the thing is with this machine, being a washer dryer, the drying cycle tends to take a lot longer, very long on this machine for, for loads. I don't like to have this machine running too late because I'm, you know, I need to relax and everything. And it can, this machine can be on until like two in the morning sometimes. So that says 5 hours 41 at the moment, but they can cut it down for the... That's going to be like a 2 hour cycle plus all the rest. So no, the medic rinse is actually what makes that longer. But well, what I will do is put the machine on an um, additional cupboard dry cycle afterwards with a fast spin. <clears throat> It'll be interesting to see what motions we do on this cycle as well. <clears throat> I'll do a dart wash and nearly off this.
Just in regular tumbles at the moment, clearly so not. Bedding is more absorbent than other bedding as well. Please. Okay, so we are on the heating stage now, and we switch to fast tumbles now, so we're going back to tumbling, we were doing the rolling action before. Okay, I'm going to show you something now, I also don't need to use my temp gun anymore, my infrared one, all I need to do is press, I think it's spin and, it's spin and medic rinse. And we're at 41 degrees. It tells me exactly to a T what we do. Uh, 12 cookies at 12. He has made a video of all uh, secret op menus and whatnot. I still haven't taken time to watch that. I will though. You can see, um, I will film a tough clean cycle on this at the end of the month or, or next month when I, when I, I do a monthly to scale because this machine definitely does need it. So we'll do a video of that. Pesky little fly there. Time to bring down my washing. I've got a dark load to do after this. This won't be taking five hours though, because after the machine gets to the final spin, I'll run the machine on the cover drive with a 1400 RPM spin and we'll just get to see that. I also won't record the full duration of 1400 because that'll be an eight minute spin. So we have reached 60 degrees Celsius. Notice how we never actually get suds in this machine. So, it'll be interesting to see if we do a uh, cool down, a shuttle run after this. I know we we'll definitely, we'll definitely should do intermediate spins. It's nice to have all these programs to play with. We'll do a 40, uh, we'll do a 95 on this one day with um, <coughs> my other bedding can go on this. So what we'll do after the machine finishes the 800 RPM final spin, I'll switch the machine to a cover dry cycle, sensor dry, with a 1400 RPM spin, that way then we'll do the full 8 minute final spin. And that's Dixie's Midnight Runners in the background. Top of the pops, 1982. So uh, there's a big chance that Duran Duran can turn up on that. We've drained, so I'm only going to presume that this is an intermediate spin. But I can probably guarantee we're going to get some balancing problems if it is. Because that's how. Yeah, that looks like the sort of distribution we do for a spin. 
Here we go. Yeah, that's distribution. All up though. <laughs> Instant car. Good thing though, we don't take long to rebalance, is what I like with this machine. That should be good actually. Can he say yes or no? He says yes. A little pre spin we do. So, in the time between the rain and wash and this, uh, the machine's received a new pump. The old one packed in, probably due to lime scale and a lot of rubbish that the owner had had inside it. It was making an awful grinding sound. Um, for those who are asking about the knocking sound the machine's making, it's the shock absorbers. They are unbalanced. Um, it's normal for LGs because their suspensions are very rigid. So yeah, and you often... I was going to say no. Yeah. Um, so you hear it more on this machine because there's obviously no actual proper brush motor. You hear it because you hit the machine so quiet. Without the dryer fan. Well, the suspension is two, two dampers that side and one damper this side, so there's a lot more stiffness. That's why we get a lot of knocking. Nothing wrong. That should be fine. I've got a coin on top of the machine, so if you hear something fall. Oh, that really is unbalanced. There's hardly any cabinet movement. Look at this. That unbalanced, and there's... I reckon it's about 800. Or it might be 600, actually, because we only do 800. It's hard to shake it. Yeah, the stability, stability of this machine is absolutely amazing. Considering a very lightweight machine as well. I can also check the RPM, how fast we're going as well. Uh, spin and dry together. Watch this. 
Wait, what? 1,000? How the hell are we doing 1,000 off here? No way, that can't be 1,000. This can't be doing faster than she's intended to go. Coin didn't even fall. Alright, I'm going to the first rinse. I reckon this machine does uh, three rinses on the cycle, as opposed to two. Uh, because baby hair cycle, we would probably do three to guarantee extra rinsing. With the final rinse being a medic rinse. lower level rinses. There's probably a way to boost the level on this. That's an hour's main wash. I'm actually really impressed with that. <laughs> Second intermediate spin now, and this just goes straight into distribute. Not say no. Probably might be a few attempts. There's water still in the tub that's being extracted from the... Yeah, reverse tumble. Oh. Camera's about to die. She says no. Yes. My goodness me. <laughs> But this machine won't give up. That's how much I can tell. I knew it. Yeah. We don't reverse immediately. It's only if we take more than two attempts. Smoother. <laughs> Just a 
I don't think needs to distribute evenly. Nope. Like we don't even bother going to full distribute. Smooth. Show me a pain. I'll be here for a while, guys. Let's get through if you wish to. Sounds good. Perfect. It'd be nice to be able to see the drum on one of these things, but they, you know, I can't really choose this. The only downside is that the pump is much louder. Oh, there's a lot of move. Oh my goodness. Whoa, that's really unbalanced. sprayed from the it's all being sprayed from the door sill 
way. No, that is a suswalk. Is that a suswalk? Okay, the LG is actually suswalking. <laughs> yeah, it's coming up because that's right, because we're shutting the pump off. Just like Rio, when she shines, she really shows you all she can. I have not as our profile. Bloody hell! Kelly's really going for it. There you go, Cookie. See an LG direct drive do that. Well, I think for the second rinse. Sort of an idea for tomorrow's load, I'm going to do a time delay function on this. I just want to dot some eyes, you know, so I can watch it. I've got some darts that you're doing, so what I'll do is I'll put time delay on and they can come on about 8 30, 9 o'clock tomorrow morning. I forgot that the machine had a time delay. You got to, was it 19 hours, I think we do. Come on, do it in the morning. No more cotton 60. Third intermediate spin now. Instant no. Didn't even get into the, didn't even get the distribute speed. Hopefully we won't have another spin like that. <laughs> Ooh, Kelly was getting a little bit excited to be perfect. I hope that is balanced. I will include a Florence Ballad 3060 reviews on this machine one day once I've done all the cycles or experienced them all. Pretty squeaking it's coming my boots. I'm just to try and bother a bit there. the load the machine took to 1400 the other day. There's my workload, it was literally just my shirt and jeans. Yeah, you go, that's perfect, we've accepted that. So got the 1400 really unbalanced, there was hardly any vibration at all. The uh, washing machine guy was on call with me. That knocking sound, every LG I've watched does that. Including the two that I, uh, the three that I tested at British Art Foundation, which should be an in Nintendo washer. That's 800 or one. The machine says 1000 RPM when I check, but this cycle is only meant to do 800 RPM.
That, def that actually does go to one valve mark. That's registering at 1,000 RPM. That's really interesting. We are only using, so I wonder if the final spin actually goes to 1,000. It makes sense for a baby care cycle. So we've got 1,000 RPM in to be dispensed. This will now be the final medic rinse now. So we're now on the final rinse. Uh, this is going to be the final medic rinse. So what this machine will do, as I think you know how the medic rinse works now, but if you don't, for those of you who are new and don't know how this works, um, we fill like a normal machine does for the final rinse, cold water, and then the machine will engage the heating element and go up to 40 degrees. This helps to kill off any remaining detergents in the load. It's very good for people like me with sensitive skin, hence why it's on a baby care cycle. Uh, it does mean the rinse is extended by about 20 minutes, but it does a good job. I use this for bedding and towels and... Yeah. Or blankets I'd use it for as well. I sometimes use it for darks as well. Depends on what. If I use a detergent like I know that it's going to be hard to rinse out or it gets very sussy at Kirkland. Oh, this probably would have been a nightmare at Kirkland. So we're now heating uh, on the medic rinse. Um, let me check the temperature we're at. What's it? Spin and. That's spin and medic rinse. Check. 38, we're almost at 40 degrees in. See if I can wait for that to go up to 39 degrees. So you can hold it any time during the cycle to check. So three hours. Um, I reckon the final spin's actually gonna be at 1,000 of them, just the fact it says 39, there we are, it's almost 40 degrees. Same sort of thing the media professionals do, except they actually fill with hot water for their medic rinse. So we're on the final spin now. I was going to say, is that going to be a first go? No, no, probably not. Spin that now. Uh, she's going to be really fussy about it, I think. Just 
post, <coughs> just posted a preview to what's going on the cycle. Just, just showing the medic rinse. Yeah, she's not going to be doing that. Come on. <laughs> Doesn't sound too bad, but I know she won't spin that. No, I knew it. <laughs> I knew that wasn't going to spin. <laughs> oh, this is a lovely chair to sit in. Oh, we yeah. go. Cut the heating off. Does it all ball up or something? I'll say that's not too bad, but I know she won't. No. <laughs> She'll sit here all night doing this, basically. Yes, and we can see the back of the drum. But I know the machine will stop and retumble because this is basically a drawing spin, this will be. Preparation for drawing. Does anyone know why they why LGs do this pre-spin, that small fast distribution there? Is it like a last minute check on balancing or something? I don't know. The motor is programmed to do that on every single spin that you will do. I think this spin here is the last way the machine can check the balancing. I mean, our kitchen floor tiles have a very slight amount of bounce to them, which is why a lot of machines vibrate on these. On a solid concrete floor, the machine would hardly move. But there's also there's no weight to the machine because there's no motor on there. You haven't got the motor underneath the machine. No, that's a perfect spin. And now we're going to stop and redistribute, yeah. Because this is being prepared for drawing. There we go. Hey, the first time we do the stepping on this one.
you get the idea what the machine does, so I'll wait, I'll come back when we start distributing. Distributing again. I think this will be the final ramp up now. But it might be a little bit more sensitive on balancing now, I think. No, we won't, we're going to go straight forward. Well, we don't know yet. See what I mean? It's programmed to do that all the time. Working on these machines is very easy though. I've got to be honest, taking one of these apart, apart from putting the bloody door retaining, the door seal retaining band back on, probably easier than a vintage machine to work on. But when I say easier than a vintage machine, I mean not as scary as a 9 by to work on. The plastic. That's going to be quite unbalanced. That was going to be too unbalanced to spend that. <laughs> but I do appreciate the fact the machine does this because I know now I can never damage this machine with an unbalanced load. And it's nice for, at night when you get a smooth spin. smoothish. The inner tub is actually just, it moves a bit more, it's not warped or anything, it's probably just not centred. So, <coughs> the drum actually looks like it's more unbalanced than it is. I think it was the older Intello washers and the first direct drive models that could actually spin anti-clockwise as well. These ones didn't do it. for a little while. Yeah. Oh come on, it's smooth. What? That was smooth. Oh, come on. You better not rebalance that. Oh, you have got to be kidding me. That was fine. But then watch how we're going to spin and we're still going to be unbalanced. That's what the funny point is going to be. See, now we're unbalanced. So... <laughs> Kelly, I don't know what the hell you're doing. But... You had it perfectly on two goes there, two consecutive goes in a, in a row. That's definitely a no. Come on. How smooth does this machine want to try and be? Dang 
gonna get it with that load. You got the towels which are heavier than the, uh, the bedding. Come on, that is perfect. You can tell how long it takes a suspension to actually get the ship to get moving. I'm balanced. Wow, okay, that's wild. Like the, the suspension doesn't swing around on distribute. It's a bit like the Hoover, A3060. So you know the suspension's quite stiff. Get this camera off. Yeah. You might want to see there's hardly any cabinet movement. stable that is while that's spinning. It's going to be unbalanced. So this should be going up to 1000 RPM, even though we say 800. I won't film the full 14, you know, I'll just record that last burst going up to 1400. I also want a baby hair would do a half heat climb. You can see the back of the drum now. where we should be limiting the speed at. No, we're going faster. So this cycle, look, I'll show you, look, I do spin and dry. Look, 860, 870. Yeah, so this cycle is actually a 1,000 RPM, yeah, not 800. Interesting. Love just goes to 1400. Oh, here we go, it's going to all start going around the glass again. That's 1000 RPM, not 800. And, uh, I don't know how long we'll spend. There we are. Oh, here we are, spraying around the glass. We start doing the anti tangles. Yeah, that's the anti tangle. Hang on a minute, we're distributing again. So we're going to do another ramp up. This is interesting that we do this. Very intriguing. I've never seen machine do this kind of spin. <coughs> I 
this is like the Mila's um, Easy Care Delicate Spin where we just do constant three bursts at 600 on RPM. Oh, maybe it's to reduce creasing and of course the um, stop it from sinking to the side. <coughs> Don't you dare stop. Because these actually have um, sensors on the shock absorbers, so it's how much movement there is. Everyone's excited about their time back. ramps up any more I swear I'm actually going to be
that should be the end of the final spin now, probably. Kenny, why are you not making your video so long? So, machines on the final ramp up to 1400 now. <coughs> Preparation for drawing. We're going at 1000 RPM now. The fastest is slowed as it's spun up so far. hardly vibrating. Um, watch this, right? This might be able to stand up on the... That stood up on the drawer, that is. Uh, I don't actually fall into the machine, but yeah. That's insane. Also, the lid of the machine vibrates considerably more. A lot more oscillation there. Yeah. It'll take a while for it to fall over, but it doesn't fall straight away. There we felt now, it's just because the lid of the machine vibrates. cycle now. We're doing the last bit of uh, weight and load sensing. I captured the awesome sound of the dryer fan starting up. So it's only 3 hours 29 but 
this will be our three way to load out. Weighing out the load now. drawing cycle. Kelly is going to side going to the side on two hours. Not bad. That's the dryer fan on. There you go, that's the heating element engaging now. And we're drying. <coughs> the uh, thermistor will kick in towards the end uh, to detect how dry the load is. So if the load becomes more drier, uh, she will cut the time down even further. I can just set and forget this machine now. So you cut that down by quite a while. Yeah, I can already feel how warm that is. My favourite thing about owning a washer dryer is that it should just dry itself. And I'll get like really hot in there. between fast and slow tumbles. And after this finishes I'll do a rinse out floss cycle with the tub clean and then I'll <coughs> put the next load in for tomorrow morning. Okay so we're 37 minutes left. Um, everything looks dry to be honest, we're just wait to see once all the condensation starts disappearing and when the machine will... Oh, there was a click there, was That could be the NTC trying to check. 36 minutes ago now. Hopefully it will seem to be dry. There's a lot of clicking going on, yeah. It's doing slow tumbles there. I don't know whether they're the sensing tumbles or anything. Or well, the machine alternates between those. So the machine has cut off 15 minutes because we are inside the machine since then we are drying. So the end is shut off now and we're officially starting the cool down. So all that moisture will now sort of
dry up. And then we'll put this on a quick rinse out fluff and I'll load tomorrow's dart wash to start in the morning with the time delay. This is where I think the pump will actually start running for longer now to completely drain the machine for the water. We're on the last, well, less than a minute now, of the cycle, but we can end it. Get that ready. We'll finish and play a little tune. I don't know. to do is press this and that's it now we just wait for the machine to um, unlock we just clicked there might be a bit of steam coming off this still there's a lot of lint oh, yeah that's still quite hot for a cool down so what you do I do the favorite thing that I love doing after I oh, oh that's so nice and warm it feels damp, but that's because there's heat. So what you do... There you go. That's dry. Just give everything a little shake to disperse the heat. Oh, lovely. Yeah, dry to perfection. Don't pull off any of the lint now. Joy having a washer dryer. There's a lot of lint around here. Deal with that in the morning. Ooh, yeah. Leave the door open. All right. That was the LG Direct Drive uh, six motion washer dryer F1496 AD. Using the baby care 60 cycle with a wash and dry. That's perfectly dried. This machine knows exactly how to dry. So I'll not do scaling to do here, so I will do a, um, a maintenance wash at some point. Um, but yeah, I hope you're glad to see her again. It's hard getting time to use this machine because as you see how long it takes from the machine, and my mum obviously gets paranoid. Um, you know, about thinking the machine can be heard by other people which you can't. We will say that LGs have got very loud pumps to them though. Um, it's the, only, the only sort of downside, I, the only flaw with this machine I, I'm not happy with is the pump is louder than any other machine. So I don't know if there's a way I can insulate the pump safely with some foam, I don't know, soundproofing material around it. I don't know what we'll do for the next cycle. I'm thinking like sportswear or I'm think we might do a cotton 
60 maybe in this or something. We'll see. Lots of things to play with this machine, so there's going to be plenty to come. She is the permanent machine in this place now, um, because of keeping a washer dryer. So everything else is having a rest. Not in retirement, but just having a rest. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and don't forget to stay safe and keep it supreme and go with the flow.